Uh, I'm going to tell you how to do a setup now in main top. Uh, we just showed you the spot color. So we're going to come over here, always import the picture. And there's a dragon um, spot color, which I just showed you. And always have your adjust to picture size open. And as you click that, we're going to get a dongle error. So that doesn't matter. It just means I need to restart main top. Um, main top, the dongle which plugs into main top, if your computer goes to sleep like my laptop did, it can lose connection. So just simply restart the software. A few things to note. Um, we're, we're your printer pool, print X. Kevin should have set this all up. And you've got your pass counts at six and your profiles on six pass. These two have to match. If you want to try an eight pass profile, you can go to eight pass and change eight pass here. It's going to slow the machine down a little bit. It will give you slightly uh, higher resolution. It will lay down slightly more ink, um, but you can play around with this. So I like to just use six pass. So we're going to go back to our standard six pass. And now you may want to do five of these. So the best way to do it is, is you can go file here and print. And when this comes up, you could select copies here. That is going to leave a big gap between each of the designs. Um, so I like to do mine by uh, going here. And what I like to do is go down to a setting down here to duplicate and repeat. I set my five I want to do. I want to go vertically because I'm already maximized my width here. When I click apply, I can now go to view and I want to see fit in window. Um, now it didn't change because of it's actually looking at the page size. So in order to work out our page size, there's a couple of things we need to do. Is we look at the size here, we're at 268.3. So let's just sort of round that to 268.4. So I'm going to take my calculator and go 268.4. I'm going to times by five because we already done a five. We, we wanted to uh, run five. And now I've got a five millimeter gap, so I'm going to have three gaps between my five. I'm going to plus on my 15 millimeters gaps. So now I can set my sheet size. If you come over here to page setup and the equation we put in to do five of these came out at 1357. I'm actually going to just go 1360, round it up, give us a little bit of room, click OK. And now you can see it set up our sheet lovely. So now all we need to do is you can save this for them if you so you don't have to do your sheet setup, or you can just go print. And then here, you definitely need to make sure that this white space matches your sheet size. So what we do is we go properties, auto set paper, OK. And once you see the white matches your sheet size, you can now click OK and send this to the printer. Um, once you've finished printing, um, you can either send it again if you wanted to do another five. Um, one thing to note is your print manager. All your jobs are going to be sent to your print manager. And here you're going to see your ripped jobs and your printed jobs. So what you can do here is you could do one setup like this, send it to your print manager, do a second setup on a different design, send it to the print manager, and that's going to just continuously, your machine's going to go from one job to the next. So that's a little demo of how to um, do multiple prints inside MainTop. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.